Queen Potter was actually well known for her size already before appearing on season 3 of My 600 Pound Life. She had previously been confirmed as the heaviest woman in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2011 at 643 pounds and later appeared on Dr. Drew, stating that she had lost about 100 pounds and wanted to lose more. Pauline was also featured on the British show Super Size vs. Super Skinny, warning this supersized guest Helen about the dangers of getting to her size when she appeared on My 600 Pound Life in 2015 at 678 pounds, Pauline expressed the true extent of her sadness at how she could hardly do anything for herself. We saw some of the deeper details of her life and how it affected both her and her 21-year-old son Dylan, who took care of her full-time. Despite seeming to have gotten nowhere, Pauline still claims to want to lose weight and have a normal life. She recognizes how much her weight hurts herself and her loved ones, but getting a control on her food habits after so many years is far from easy. Here's a clip. Pauline says she's eating healthy, but she's not. She's eating whatever she wants and telling herself she is doing I was calling about Pauline Potter. She said that uh, nobody called her. Well, we did serve her probably three times, and she said she didn't need it, and she had someone else up there. She turned us away each time we called. Well, I got the message from physical therapy. They said that they called you, and you told them you have somebody else coming in that you don't need it. That was them? I thought I was no, something else. No, they, they specific. We all love to hate Stephen Asante from afar, but unfortunately, his brother Justin was forced to deal with him firsthand. There are a lot of unhealthy family relationships on the show, but Stephen's abusive treatment towards Justin that apparently began in childhood and continued throughout the show is one of the more saddening cases. For a bit of backstory, the brothers both turned to food at an early age to deal with the emotional neglect by their mother. And though their father is with them during much of their time on the show, their relationship with him isn't perfect either. Steven's solo antics are also highly remembered for being pretty abnormal behavior, including the falling off of a golf cart incident and riding to the hospital begging for his fix of painkillers only to get a harsh beat down by Dr. Mao. What might even be stranger is that Stephen is apparently married and living a normal, quiet life now. On Justin's Reddit AMA, he responded to someone asking if the wedding was a fake, saying that Stephen did get married and that he doesn't bother him or their father anymore. Maybe not the perfect happily ever after for both the Santi brothers, but at least they're both living more normally than they were when we saw them on the show. Here's a clip. As you've seen with the past two entries, there are plenty of people who have been unsuccessful when being featured on My 600 Pound Life. But Penny over here is a special case of a quitter. She is one of the most standout, frustrating episodes, as she hardly did anything to change her ways. Sure, she lost enough weight to get approved for the surgery, but that was about it. Then, after gastric bypass, she just kept on eating the exact same way she was eating before, and even attempted to convince Dr. Now that she was, in fact, losing weight, despite the scales and her food intake clearly saying something different. Penny keeps up her delusion all the way to the end, talking up how hard she's trying, her parenting skills, and her plans to improve in the future. But as we all know, unless Penny starts to make some real changes, uh, it, things aren't going to change. Here's a clip. Reality, and if she chooses to over. 
Sean is a special case on the show, being its heaviest patient to date at a staggering 919 pounds, which was actually over the 800 pound limit of Dr. Now's scale. During the show, Dr. Now noted that he might be the heaviest person alive at the moment, and that his weight was not at all a good place to be. Sean stated on the show that he felt like a prisoner, not having been outside in public in an eight-year period, and that he was worried that he wouldn't live past the age of 30. Unfortunately, that came true as Sean sadly passed away at the young age of 29 in February 2019. It makes this especially sad.